There is nothing wrong with your television set. Do not attempt to adjust the picture. We are controlling transmission. If we wish to make it louder, we will bring up the volume. If we wish to make it softer, we will tune it to a whisper. We will control the horizontal. We will control the vertical. We can roll the image. Make it flutter. We can change the focus to a soft blur. Or sharpen it to crystal clarity. For the next hour, sit quietly and we will control all that you see and hear. We repeat, there is nothing wrong with your television set. You are about to participate in a great adventure. You are about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind to the outer limits. about to enter another dimension, a dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind, a journey into a wondrous land of imagination. Next stop, the Twilight Zone.
porthole on a craft, and uh, I think there's three aliens standing in the window. And uh, I think there's three aliens standing in the window. And uh, I think there's three aliens standing in the window. It's a long road, there's no turning back. It's a long road, there's no turning back. It's a long road, there's no turning back. It's a long road. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a UFO. Residents in Cowley County still talking about a mystery craft being seen towed down US 77 yesterday. It was a sight that, for some, won't be forgotten anytime soon. As mysterious as the transport company who called Sheriff Don Reed for help. They uh, told us that it was uh, an aircraft and that they had explored other ways of transporting it, but this was the best way for them to do it and uh, they asked us not to say a whole lot about it. After all, the massive load's shape would certainly draw enough attention on its own. People were calling in saying, oh, well, they think they found a flying saucer. It looks like a flying saucer to us, and um, we don't know for sure what it is. For nearly an hour, officers helped maneuver the craft through Cali County. The biggest thing that they had to deal with was down at the roundabout. They had to remove a bunch of signs and markers because uh, um, the load was so long it couldn't make the corner. While onlookers struggled to wipe the shock from their faces and the questions from their minds.